this is question 9 find the new profit sharing ratio part 1 R and T are partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2. S joins the firm, R surrenders one fourth of his share and T one fifth of his share in favor of S. Answer 9. First part old ratio of R is to T is equal to 3 is to 2. R surrendered to S means of one fourth of his share multiply. 3 upon 5 old, old share of R surrendered one fourth of 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 means multiply that is equal to 3 upon 20 and T surrendered one fifth of his share that means 2 upon 5 was his share surrendered one upon 5 of means multiply that is equal to 2 upon 25 R surrendered 3 upon 20 T surrendered 2 upon 25. Then R's new share is equal to 3 upon 5 minus 3 upon 20. That is equal to LCM 20. 4 3 is 12 minus 3, 9 upon 20 multiplied by 5 upon 5. That is 45 upon 100. T's new share, 2 upon 5 was the old share, and T surrendered 225. That is minus 2 upon 25 that is equal to LCM 25 5 to the 10 minus 2 that is equal to 8 upon 25 to make every denominator equal to 100 we have to multiply 4 to 25 that's why 4 upon 4 will make it 32 upon 100 and S, SS new share that is equal to S is getting 3 upon 20 from R and 2 upon 25 from S. R surrendered and T surrendered. Hence S got 3 plus 20 plus 2 upon 25. Let the LCM be 100. That is 15 plus 8 is equal to 23 upon 100. Hence the new ratio of R is to T is to S is equal to 45 is to 32 is to 23. And the part 1 is over. Part 2. 1 and A and B are partners, they admit C for one fourth share in future, the ratio between A and B would be 2 is to 1. Ninth answer 9, part 2, old ratio of A is to B is equal to 1 is to 1. C is admitted for one fourth share, let the total profit of the firm be 1, remaining share of A and B. After C's admission, 1 minus 1 fourth is equal to 4 minus 1 upon 4 whole upon 4 is equal to 3 upon 5. This 3 upon 5 will be shared not in the ratio of 1 is to 1, but it is given in the question towards the end of the sentence 2 is to 1. In future, A or B will not be sharing equally. It will be distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Hence, A's new share 3 upon 5 multiplied by 2. 2 third that is equal to 6 upon 12. Likewise, B's new share that is 3 upon 4 is the share of A and B multiplied by 1 by 3 that is A is taking 2, B is taking 1. 2 upon 3, 1 upon 3 that is 3 upon 12. C's new share 1 upon 4 multiplied by 3 upon 3 that is 3 upon 12. Therefore, the new ratio of a is to B is to C is equal to 6 is to 3 is to 3 that is equal to 2 is to 1 is to 1. Then third part, third part question 9, C, read the question. A, B and A, B are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. They admit C for one fifth share in the profit. C acquires one fifth of his share from A and four fifth from B. of his share from A and from B. Old ratio of A is to B 3 is to 2. A's new share 3 upon 5 minus he is acquiring one fifth share and out of this he is taking four fifth from B and one fifth from A. Hence one upon 5 multiplied by one fifth 
दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री अपन फाइव माइनस वन अपन ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू एल सी एम ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव थ्री जा फिफ्टीन माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन अपन ट्वेंटी फाइव बीस न्यू शेयर दैट इज टू अपन फाइव माइनस वन अपन फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फोर अपन फाइव वन अपन फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फोर अपन फाइव दैट इज इक्वल टू टू अपन फाइव माइनस फोर अपन ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज इक्वल टू एल सी एम ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस इज फाइव टू जै टेन माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स अपन ट्वेंटी फाइव एस न्यू शेयर बीस न्यू शेयर एंड सीस न्यू शेयर वन अपन फाइव ही इज टेकिंग एंड वी हैव टू इक्वलाइज द शेयर ऑफ All A B C by denominator. Hence we have to multiply five upon five. It will be five upon twenty-five. That's why the denominator of C will be twenty-five, and numerator will be five multiplied by one five. Therefore, the new ratio of A is to B is to C is equal to fourteen is to six is to five. C C is taking one fifth, but in the ratio of one is to four. One fifth is taking from A. Hence one minus one fifth is equal to four fifth, which is taking from B. One fifth, one fifth, and one fifth, four fifth. Then fourth part. Fourth part is x, y, and z are partners in the ratio of three to two to one. W joins the firm as a new partner for one fourth share in profits. Z would retain his original share. Z would retain his original share. Hence, answer nine, part four. That is, old ratio of x is to y is to z is equal to three is to two is to one. W is admitted for one sixth share. Let the total profit of the farm be one. Remaining share of x, y, and z after W's admission is equal to one minus one sixth. Out out of the total share one, if one sixth was given to somebody, then remaining is six minus one upon six. That is five upon six. This is five by upon six. According to uh, the question, W joins the firm as a new partner for one sixth share. In the profits, Z would retain his original share. Z's original share is one upon six. Hence, W take one sixth. And left out is five by six, and a y x and y share after retention of a z's original share five upon six and minus z's original share that is one upon six that will be four upon six. Now this four upon six will be distributed among x and y, and the question does not tell anything about this. Hence it will be distributed in the ratio of three to two. See. Excess new share four upon five multiplied by three upon five that is twelve upon thirty. Wise new share four upon five into two upon five that is equal to eight upon thirty. Then Jed's new share that is one upon six multiplied by five upon five. One upon six multiplied by five upon five that is equal to five upon thirty. Jed's new share. Now the LCM of all three is thirty. Z is retaining his original share. We have to just equalize this. Make the denominator to thirty. And W's new share that is one upon six. Hence equalize the denominator five upon five. That is equal to five upon thirty. Therefore the new ratio of x y z is to W is equal to twelve is to eight is to five is to five. This is fine. Then fifth. Fifth one is a A B are equal partners. They admit C and D as partners for with one fifth and one sixth share respectively. Fine. Old ratio of A is to B is equal to one is to one. Nothing is given. It is given equal partners. And C is admitted for one fifth share. D is admitted for one sixth share. Now let the total profit of the farm be one. Remaining share of AB after admission of C and D one minus one fifth for C and one sixth for D that is equal to LCM thirty thirty minus six minus five is equal to nineteen by thirty. In one go we did all we subs 
subtracted the share of C and D. Now, A's new share 19 upon 30 multiplied by 1 by 2 that is equal to 19 upon 60. B's new share 19 upon 30 multiplied by 1 by 2 19 by 60. C's new share is equal to 6 upon 30 is the multiplied by 2 upon 2 he is getting 6 upon 30 and 5 upon 30 C and D you can say he is getting 1 fifth and D is getting 1 sixth hence 1 fifth you can say uh, that is equal to 6 by 10 for A a C and for D 5 by 6 by 30 and 5 by 30. See the person who are getting how much from them. If you will say just simply 1 fifth multiplied by 12 upon 12, then you will be getting 12 upon 60. Likewise, this new share 5 by 30 multiplied by 2 by 2, 10 upon 60, or you can say. 1 upon 6 multiplied by 5 upon 5 again multiplied by 2 by 2 that will be 10 upon 60. You have to equalize the denominator to 60 for all 4 partners. Therefore, new ratio of A is to B is to C is to D is equal to 19 is to 19 is to 12 is to 10. The last part, 6th part. A and B are partners sharing profits or losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. C is admitted for one fourth share. A and B decide to share, e share equally in future. Answer 9 part 6. Old ratio of A is to B is equal to 3 is to 2. C is admitted for one fourth share. Let the total profit of the firm be 1. Remaining share of A and B after C's admission, 1 minus 1 fourth is equal to LCM 4, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 upon 4. A's new share, 3 upon 4 multiplied by, by half because they are telling A and B decided to share equal in future A and B not in the ratio of 3 is to 2 that means 3 upon 5 and 2 upon 5 will not be multiplied x will be taking half and y will be taking half. It will be 3 fourth into half that is 3 upon 8 and 3 fourth into half that is 3 upon 8. And C's new share is equal to 1 upon 4 into 2 by 2 that is 2 by 8. Hence the new ratio of A, B, C is equal to 3 is to 3 is to 2 that is equal to that this is the final answer.